Hey guys, so this video is all about the roof storage I just did on my GX460. This will work on just about any truck with a roof rack. I've got a little over five gallons, like five and a half gallons of water storage here. It's nice and warm. And then I've got um, a small cheap pod here for storage, dirty clothes and stuff I don't want to put in the cab, stuff that might be smelly, um, you know, gas, a small gas tank in there, stuff like that. I wanted some um, dirty storage. so. Uh, I did this really cheaply. This is just the factory style roof racks and this box is cheap and everything but um, I got a video to show you how I did it and some tips and tricks and then all the links are in the description for every component I used on this. So um, check out the description if you want to do it this way. Um, there are some other videos about how to do these tanks. I think this is the simplest, cheapest, cleanest way to do it. Um, and I'm pretty happy with how it came out. It's been up there for a week now and I've been using it and I've had no issues. So. So far, so good. What I found was the simplest and also the cheapest way to do it was to use um, not Schedule 40, but use this stuff they call um, S and D. It's like a sewage and drainage pipe. It's a lot thinner, which means um, it's lighter and you get more interior volume um, because it's lighter. Well, actually, pretty similar interior volume because the other pipes are just have bigger outer diameter. But um, I went with six inch, so you can get these six inch um, by 24. ABS um, SDR 35 pipes at Lowe's for like eight bucks or nine bucks. Uh, these caps I got at Home Depot. Actually, no, that's backwards. I got the this pipe at Low uh, at Home Depot. Um, I got everything else at home Lowe's. So this is just a six inch cap. Again, um, you got to make sure you get the right stuff because the sewage and drain sizes are different. A regular Schedule 40 cap won't fit on here. It's too um, it's too big. Schedule 40 is thicker. And this part down here is the same size. This will just go into there. The reason I have it off is to show you how much space is actually in this thing. It's pretty outstanding. Um, so this is two 24 foot sections plus this, plus the end caps. Um, it's a little over four feet long and it gives you, if you do the math, a little over five gallons of water storage. Um, now the first question is, oh, if you pressurize that, you can't pressurize it very much because it's not Schedule 40, uh, you can still pressurize it a ton, but I'm not really interested in having a lot of water pressure off-road. I just wanna have a source of water for emergencies or for a quick shower. Um, the other thing I did differently is this top port. This will be the fill. Uh, most people use a threaded plug, which threaded plugs get really annoying um, because eventually those threads get contaminated and they're hard to get open. This is just one of those test fittings. Um, it's for a four inch pipe. If you crank it up all the way, it fits perfect in this SDR four inch opening. And I'm probably gonna trim that so it has no excess there. But uh, I think this is a pretty reliable way to be able to fill up my reservoir. So that's pretty cool. I'll show you what it looks like on the truck. All right, so there it is on the truck. Obviously I need to paint it. On the back here, it's just gonna be a little spigot. Um, I'll put a link for that in the description. Just drill a hole it comes with two um, o-ring flat o-ring type seals and it's just going to get secured down to the roof cross members with some big zip ties and that's about it all right so you want to mount your spigot as low as you can on the pipe to get the most water out of it but if you put it down that low you won't be able to get the pipe to sit all the way in there unless you bevel it so i beveled the bottom part so it'll fit all the way in there um, this is paper thin at the edge uh, that way I can get it as low as I can to get the most water out of it pro tip thought that was kind of clever okay so this thing's almost done I've got spigots on both ends for uh, redundancy and for if the vehicles lean real bad you could swap the hose to either side to get a little more water out of your system and then I just hit it with some rattle can um, of course the old Krylon fusion satin black which I think will match my pod that's on the roof of the truck nicely. Um, I'm just gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna hang it and paint the top of it and it's good to go ready to throw on the truck. Came out pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how I did it. I It feels really solid because I actually tapped threads into the pipe. I cut the hole a little small with that step drill bit and forced it to screw in there after heating up the PVC a little bit so um, it feels really solid. If you were just relying on these rubber um, seals to kind of hold everything it would turn easy and it would feel floppy but because I cut threads in it and I also sealed it up with ultra black I feel like it's going to be a pretty 
uh, waterproof and robust setup. But we will see. Of course, if I have an issue uh, at this point, I could, um, you know, if one of them starts to leak, I could remove the other one, plug it, uh, or something like that. So that's why I wanted to have two. So if I have an issue, I can cap one off and I still have a way to get water out of my tank conveniently. Um, worst comes to worst, I'll drop the bilge pump I have in the center of it and then get water out of it in the emergency situation. Um, these are two pretty different finishes. This is PVC and this is ABS. That was the cheapest way to do it, again, with the uh, drain sewer piping. Uh, but it's starting to dry. I think it's gonna come out looking fairly consistent. Not that I really care all that much. So I did not end up using a hole saw because hole saws tend to make kind of a mess when you're trying to do a precise cut. I ended up using one of these tapered drill bits. It came out really nice. And now I've got a little shelf done in there that acts as the first thread. All right, so I got it done. It wasn't easy. So there it is screwed on there. And it's got a bunch of sealing around it, as you can see. Um, how did I get that nut tight? Well, I... Uh, taped some pliers then have a broom handle to hold the nut while I screwed the fitting in. That was really tricky. Um, yeah, but it's on there pretty good. Uh, gaskets are nice and compressed. Once that glue dries, I think it'll be a done deal and it'll be very watertight. All right, it's complete and it was way more work than it should have been. Primarily because of these shitty Lexus roof rack bars. So let me show you what I've done here. Oh, now the breeze picks up that I'm done working. Typical. Um, so typically you have two roof rack bars. These two are OEM Lexus. This one is aftermarket. Um, and Lexus tells you you need to mount them pretty far forward. Well, I didn't want to block my sunroof with my box. And I also um, wanted to keep this far back for easy access so I can open the hatch, stand on the hatch and get in the box and also fill the tank. Um, I got a spigot on both ends, by the way. It's pretty cool. So anyway, so the rails. So um, the box needed these rails this far apart and I wanted to add a third one because these are plastic. These end pieces are plastic from Lexus and of course so is the aftermarket. Um, so I added a third one to help support my box better and have another tie down point. Um, I ended up buying a Lexus set and an aftermarket set. I originally had an aftermarket and I thought it was crappy, so I went to get the Lexus one. Um, the Lexus one's only a little better. So if I was gonna do this again, I would probably just buy two sets of aftermarket. They're only like 65 bucks. These Lexus ones were 200 bucks, but whatever. Um, and then I just strapped my tank on here with some big zip ties um, that may have to be beefed up later, but you see I've got it through these little loops. So it holds it against the lip there, so it doesn't wanna rock. So it's on there pretty good, um, but that is it's about <laughs> uh, 50 pounds um, of uh, pipe and water right there on the roof. Um, the roof rack will be maxed out once I have that loaded down, but at least the weight of this is pretty close to the end. Um, so I, that kind of helps not break stuff, but who knows, that plastic might crack because it's plastic. Um, what else? I had to modify this back bar to make it shorter, um, to make it slide deeper into the... Um, I'll call this the cup or the mount piece because it from the factory it wouldn't fit that far back. These bars are not parallel, they're tapered. They're closer together in the rear than the front, these factory rails. So I have to do some creative things. But yeah, it's full of water. That's why everything's wet. Um, got my test cap in there. Um, feels pretty good. One thing that's going to be interesting to see is if I have this thing totally empty, so it's full of cold air and that air expands, will it pop my test cap out? Um, so I need to put a tether on that uh, for that reason um, and also so I don't lose it. But yeah, that'll be interesting. And this is far enough back where you can conveniently come over here and hit this knob, get a little bit of water to fill a cup, um, wash your hands, and I'm going to have an adapter that screws on here to a shower head so I can comfortably stand behind the truck or off to the side of the truck and take a shower. And that water should get nice and warm after a little while. Here's how it looks on this side with the three supports. Again, this is the cheapest way you could do it. Well, I guess you could buy two aftermarket roof racks. Um, this is the aftermarket piece. Yeah, this piece is plastic. Oh, that's how I modified it. So um, usually this screw would be in this hole. So I slid it in another half an inch, drilled another hole and moved the screw over here. So, you know, those two screws would be right here. So that's how I made it shorter um, to allow it me to mount it farther back than Lexus intended. 
But yeah, came out pretty good. Uh, I think it looks decent. And it looks a lot less stupid than everyone who has like the 10 feet long one, about a four inch pipe. Six inch pipe gives you way more volume because you know, R squared. Um, and uh, I think it looks pretty proportional and stuff. So I'm happy with it. It was very cheap. Got these on Amazon for 12 bucks. You can see how that's a nice fitting there. Very waterproof. All right now the vent's cracked. Let's see what kind of flow rate we get. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. If you wanted more flow rate than that, um, park the truck on an angle, obviously. Uh, Rho GH, density times gravity times height. So if you get the front of the tank up, you'll get more pressure at the back of the tank. But yeah, another little thing I did to get the box farther back is I dimpled the bottom of the box using a heat gun so it fit over the shark fin. You can see there's a little dimple here. Otherwise, uh, once you load this down, it ends up hitting your shark fin and pushing the roof down and we didn't want that. So that's a pretty easy thing to take care of. All right, so one more little thing. These are the zip ties I originally had from Harbor Freight. As you can see, I got some much bigger ones. I didn't quite trust these with the weight of that water tank. Um, I didn't want it to fly off and kill someone. So I got these here that are really wide and beefy and they are rated for 250 pounds. So that should help hold this thing down. I get these on there real tight and it should be good to go. Big zip ties for the win. I did this super small, um, cheap roof storage box just to put like dirty clothes and stuff like that but it's got a pretty low profile and it gave me enough room to put my water tank and it didn't cover up my sunroof.